welcome back to another video on BC Exotics. Today I'm going to be showing you how I care for and how I set up my Asian praying mantises terrarium. So as you can see behind me, here is my Asian praying mantises terrarium. Um, so I've had this mantis for about eight months now. I got it when it was just kind of a baby. Um, they're pretty easy to take care of. They don't require too much care, unlike some animals that I have. Um, and I also think they're pretty interesting. I They're very cool to take like good photos of and things like that. Um, as you can see, mine's there. Um, I will get it out later in the video. Um, so straight away, well, what I house it in. So this is a uh, 15 centimeter by 15 centimeter by 25 centimeter glass terrarium. And this is probably the smallest um, for an adult praying mantis. Um, you definitely don't want to go much smaller than this. Um, at the time, I just didn't have anything bigger, but it has it has fully grown in this. It it's been okay. It's 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 not too small for it, but yeah, like I said, wouldn't go any smaller. So before I continue into the video, please um leave a comment below on anything you'd like to see on my channel, and also subscribe and uh, turn the notifications on so you can see when I upload. Um, I haven't been uploading a lot recently, but um I'm I'm hopefully gonna do a lot more over the summer. But um continuing on. Uh, this terrarium's got a lot of water stain on it, that's never going to harm an animal, it's just less appealing to look at. But it's also pretty easy to clean off, I just haven't got around to doing it on this one yet. I do get a lot of that, because the way I keep my terrarium very humid is by spraying it every day. And I actually have my sprayer here, and this is just um, water, just kind of average tap water. And all I do every day, well, I do it most. I do it every morning and then also most evenings if I remember. Um, I just give it about ten sprays. I try not to spray the mantis directly, as that can obviously annoy it. Um, these guys aren't great for handling. If you wanted a kind of an insect that you could handle, this is definitely not the one for you. They're much more kind of show animals and for looking at. Um, I mean, if you, the bites don't hurt or the, they hurt a little bit. It's kind of like a pinch, but. They're, they're never going to do any damage, it's just it kind of does aggravate it quite a lot when you try and handle it. Um, so how I set it up, so I try and have about an inch of substrate. Um, you, It is recommended that you have between one and two inches just so it holds the humidity, but that's if you're not spraying it every day. But because I spray it every day, an inch is fine. And it gives more room for the mantis to kind of go up and down within the terrarium. Um, so in here I have a artificial kind of leaf inside of natural cork bark. So as you can see here, um, this works really well. The mantis is able to fit in it at the back, although it never has really gone in there. But it also just kind of makes it look nicer. I've also got some um, like sea pebbles in the bottom just for looks as well. Um, but you want to ensure that the mantis has like a few things to kind of climb on and move around. Um, so it can go on the cork bark as well as the sides. And I've got, you need a good airflow as the kind of temperature range you want to be in is between 70 to 75 Fahrenheit, which is 21 to 23 degrees Celsius. And so in the summer in the UK, if room temperature is completely fine. Um, in the winter, you could put a heat mat on one side, but again, room temperature, if your room's around 21 degrees, should be absolutely fine. So when it comes to diet, these guys are very easy to feed. Um, I'm gonna upload a clip of me feeding mine. Um, I mean, yeah, it's it's very simple. They um, So adult kind of Asian prey mantises will eat um large brown crickets um i wouldn't feed locust as they can have a hard kind of exterior shell that they can sometimes not like able to break down to eat but and they can also be too big but brown crickets black crickets that's what i kind of stay on they i feed mine about four to five crickets a week um and that's kind of i'll do two a day or three a day sometimes on two days in the week um as i find that easier but I think you can spread, uh, space it out. They're very easy eaters. Like if you kind of offer them food, they will all, normally always take it. But um, yeah, you have to watch out for over and under feeding them, I'd say, because um, that can become an issue very quickly. This may be hard to see from the video, but my praying mantis is actually um, kind of drinking the water off the side of the um, terrarium, as you can see there. Um, that's kind of how they'll typically kind of drink and absorb water um if you leave out a water dish i find that they just don't go anywhere near it although obviously it will help with the humidity the humidity you're looking for in these terrariums is between 60 to 80 percent obviously it's more important to keep an eye on it in the summer as it's hotter so more water will evaporate 
So praying mantises are relatively inexpensive. Um, this one, when I got it, I think cost me nine pounds at a reptile, not reptile fair, um, uh, invertebrate show. I think I got it at the South that Southeast Arachnid Show. Um, obviously, they have their downsides. Like they do only typically live between twelve and fourteen months, so it's not something you're kind of gonna have for a long time. Um, I think that is one of the reasons why they do come cheap. There are obviously so many different variants of praying mantis. This is kind of the most common, typical one you'll see. Um, orchid mantises are also quite popular, as well as, um, I think, um, ghost mantises. Um, I know some friends who have got some of them. But, um, yeah, so this is probably one of the medium-sized ones. Orchid mantises tend to be a bit smaller, but I have seen other species of mantises. I'm not sure which exact ones that get a lot larger. Um, but I'd say that this is probably one of the easiest to care for. Um, yeah, thank you for watching today's video. Like I said, I will try and upload more regularly. Um, and yeah, please subscribe. Thank you.